Hello and welcome to another great tutorial brought to you by Syntax Technologies and in this video I'm gonna show you how to download and configure Selenium WebDriver. So without further ado let's get started. Go ahead and open your favorite browser and I want you to navigate to selenium.dev site. So type selenium.dev and hit enter. Once you hit enter you will be navigated to the Selenium WebDriver homepage. And in this page, you can read about the documentation, what Selenium is and what it does. And uh, you can navigate to the downloads page as well. Selenium provides uh, different components, uh, such as Selenium WebDriver, uh, Selenium ID, Selenium Grid, and Selenium RC. But for now, we want to download Selenium WebDriver. So click on the download tab and then scroll down to where it says Selenium Client and WebDriver Language Bindings. So under this title, you see that uh, Selenium supports different programming languages. It supports Ruby, Java, Python, C Sharp, JavaScript. So for now, we're going to use it uh, with Java programming language. So we will have to download it for the Java. Now, Selenium provides uh, different uh, uh, versions. So as you see here, it has uh, download here. And then we have another link which says alpha download. So uh, for now, the alpha download is the Selenium for uh, which is not stable. It's uh, experimental uh, version and it's still under test. So we would like to go and download the uh, version three, which is uh, mostly used by different companies. OK, so go ahead and click on the downloads. This will download a zip folder into your downloads directory. Now go ahead and open your uh, downloads directory. Uh, it's the same for Windows users. So you can open your downloads directory. And from here, this is a zip folder that we just downloaded. And this zip folder contains the libraries of Selenium WebDriver. So what we need to do, we need to move this to a secure location. But prior to that, we have to extract this folder. So the way to extract it in uh, Mac OS, you just need to right click and click on open and this will extract it. But for Windows user, you will once you right click on it, here you will see an option which says extract all. And then you have to select a location and then you can extract it. Or you can extract it in the downloads folder. Now let's go ahead and move this folder into a secure location so that way we don't accidentally delete it. So I will copy this and I will store it in my documents. So in here, I'm going to create a new folder and I will name it as a jar files. And I will paste the folder here. So if I open this folder, as you see, I have some jar files. So this dot jar extension, which has these are the jar files. Uh, JAR stands for Java Archive, so basically it, a collection of classes and packages is called JAR files. And inside the uh, libs folder, I also have an other JAR file. So these are the files that I need to uh, add it to my project. Uh, then I will be able to write Selenium uh, codes. So now you want to go ahead and open your Eclipse. And in here, uh, create a Java project. So uh, I will name this project Selenium and I will hit finish. So as usual, you will have the uh, JRE system library and the source folder. Now, to add, uh, there's, there are different ways you can add Selenium jar files in here. So first way is right click on your project and you go to properties and in here you always make sure you click on the libraries so this is the location where you can add other libraries or other jar files uh, to your project so this is your project configuration as you see it says properties for selenium it means properties for this current project that i have open so you can add external jars from here and uh, for windows user you still have to come to libraries, but here you might or might not see different options such as a class path and module path. If you see uh, class path and module path, this 
button will not be enabled it will be disabled so what you need to do you need to select class path make sure you select the class path and then you click on add external jars so once you click on add external jars you will be navigated to one of the location in your system and make sure you navigate to the location where you just save the jar files in my case I saved it inside the jar files and in here I have selenium java so I will add all the jar files so I just need to add this these jar files so as you see I added these two jar files and in the meantime I will go again and add the jar files that are inside the libraries so I can select all of them at once and I will click on open and apply and close now as you see before we had only JRE system libraries now we have referenced libraries now in, inside here if you open it you will find out that the jar files that we just added it's uh, displayed here now the reason I wanted to move it to a secure location is that as you see these jar files are coming from this location if I accidentally delete it from uh, that location then I will not be able to work with selenium and then you will have errors all over your project so for that reason make sure you keep it in a secure location and this is how you configure selenium webdriver uh, into your Java project now in order to uh, work with different browsers selenium cannot directly uh, work with your um, browser if I write Selenium codes and I want to open the Chrome browser or Firefox browser or Safari, I will not be able to directly talk to these browsers through my Selenium in Java codes. What I need to do is I need to have a mediator in between so that way I can communicate with the browser. And that mediator is called drivers. So each vendor, which is Chrome, Firefox, and uh, Safari, they all provide drivers for selenium so let's go ahead and download those drivers and then we can add it to our selenium project and then we can code from there so again open your chrome browser and in here before we downloaded this now i want you to scroll a little more down make sure you are on selenium.dev slash downloads and in here scroll a little more down here it says third party drivers bindings and plugins it means these drivers are coming from chrome and firefox and safari and they are the one providing these drivers now to the way to download is you click on the browsers once you click on the browser this is where you see all the uh, supported uh, browsers so in here I'm gonna download the Firefox and I'm gonna download the Chrome driver so first of all let's go ahead and download the Firefox alright so first of all let's go ahead and download the Chrome so click on documentation and in here as you see we have different version we have 81 and we have 80 so don't blindly go ahead and select one I want you to make sure uh, to check the version of your Chrome and then download the corresponding version. To check the version of your browser, you go to uh, you click on these three dots and you go to settings. Inside the settings on the left hand side you will see about Chrome. So click on this link. Here you can see which version you have currently installed on your uh, Mac OS or on your Windows. So as you see I have version 8.0, it means I have to download this 8.0 so make sure you select the right version it's very important if you don't select the right version then you're gonna face some issues alright so I will click on this and you will be navigated to this uh, uh, page and from here uh, it supports different programming languages in the Linux Mac OS Windows 32 so Windows user please select Windows 32 and Mac users select Mac 64 click on download and then it will be downloaded into your downloads directory again let's go back to the downloads page and let's download the Firefox this time so for the Firefox click on the documentation you will be navigated 
uh, to this page as you see it uh, we have different versions here uh, from here click on Geeko driver releases and in here scroll down again you will see different uh, versions and uh, different operating system supported so this is the different operating systems uh, that it supports Linux, Mac OS, Windows 32, Windows 64 so for Mac I'm gonna use this uh, for Geeko driver so click and another zip folder got downloaded now let's go ahead and uh, navigate to our downloads directory yes I have the Chrome Mac OS driver and I have the Geeko driver go ahead and extract both Windows user and Mac user go ahead and extract it so I will open this is the Chrome driver that got extracted and the Firefox driver is known as a Geeko driver so I will extract this as well and these are the two drivers that I just downloaded now let's go ahead and move these two drivers into a secure location I will copy both and I will go to my documents and in here I will create a new folder and I will name it drivers and in here I'm gonna paste both drivers now we can leave it here and we can access it from Eclipse workspace but that's not a good practice what we need to do for uh, convenience we just need to move it here into our project so we we'll, let's create another folder in here uh, we can create the folder from here click on new and folder or if you don't have this option folder here click on others and you will be able to add a folder so click on folder if this is closed make sure you open general and in here click on folder and give it a name I will name it as a drivers so make sure you name it as a uh, lowercase do not capitalize it so finish and inside here I can paste it if I right click I can paste it from here too but that's not a good practice if you do it this way there is a high chance that these drivers will get corrupted so we will have to go from Eclipse workspace and find this project and inside this project we will have to paste it inside this uh, driver folder so let's navigate to Eclipse workspace so I will click on go to uh, Windows user please go to your C drive users inside the Eclipse workspace and in there you will see your project open your project and inside there you will see the drivers folder so for Mac users click on go to and click on go to folder in here just type same thing teldo slash Eclipse workspace so when I click on go now I have the Eclipse workspace open for me now inside here I have many many projects so what I'm gonna do, what I have done is that uh, I have created another workspace which is syntax and inside here I have my selenium project so I will open this and this is the project that I have created inside the Eclipse workspace so I will open this project and yes I do have this drivers folder that I created there so open the drivers folder and manually paste both drivers do not copy and paste it to the Eclipse interface so I have both drivers here now now if I open my Eclipse I still don't see those driver that I put it here if I see it I will be able to have an error and I can open and close it so just to bring in here you just need to hit refresh right click and go to refresh once you click on refresh yes both drivers are here now if you want to add any other driver follow the same procedure go there and add it to your drivers folder and then from there make sure you manually add them into your project and that's all about configuring the selenium web driver into your Java project and adding the drivers into your Java project I would suggest to please go ahead and um, create another project and do few pr time practices so that way you get used to it all right and if uh, you want to add the jar files the jar files can be added from the properties click on properties 
you go to libraries and then you click on add external jar another way to come here is you right click and you click on build path and then from here you click on configure build path this is the easiest way of going to this location so these are the two ways you come to this location and you click on add external jar and in the course we're gonna talk about uh, what jar files are and what we the things that we added what classes and what packages have uh, are there we will learn that in details and yep that's all if you have any question please reach out to any of one uh, any of our instructor and thank you for watching have a great day